Hi, I am Dr. Arani. In this educational video, I will show you how HPV vaccine works, the mechanism of action, how it was created, and how does it protect the patient against HPV infection. Almost all cervical cancer is associated with HPV, 50% of vulvular cancer, 65% of vaginal cancer, 35% of penile cancer, 95% of anal cancer, and about 60% of oropharyngeal cancer, that the cancer is responsible for the tongue and the tonsils. And it also responsible for disfiguring warts on those areas as well. There is no way to find out which people will go on to develop cancer or other health problems such as warts after getting infection with HPV. The work to create HPV vaccines was initiated in mid-1980s. The vaccine was developed uh, by Georgetown University, University of Rochester, Queensland in Australia and NIH as follow. Human papillomavirus has other shell protein capsid called L1 and minor protein capsid called L2. It is L1 that causes major antibody production and response in human body. Inside the virus there is HPV DNA. Similar structure artificially produced in a lab but this structure resembles the human papillomavirus does not have any DNA. On the left is the real virus. On the right is a vaccine particle which is empty shell resemble the virus created by protein in the lab which could mimic the virus and cause immune response in human body. In the lab, L1 protein particle cluster together to create that empty shell as you see in the picture which mimic and resemble the real virus. Each HPV virus has its own shape, so we need different shape for different type of HPV. Quadrivalent vaccines cover four different HPV, 6, 11, 16, and 18. 6 and 11 cause wart, 16 and 18 cause cancer. Then we inject this fake empty virus inside the muscle. This fake protein resembles the virus, get recognized by a variety of cells in immune system, such as antigen processing cells, APC. It works like a messenger. Take the protein particle of the vaccine and travel through the lymphatic system. Then it shows them to the T cells and B cells so they find out how to fight against this enemy. Then plasma cells, which is part of our immune system, process the vaccine's particle and create antibody against different type of HPV targeted by vaccine. We also create memory cells to remember the infection for the future. Some of these antibodies capable of neutralizing human papillomavirus, leaving the lymph node and travel throughout the bloodstream till they reach epithelial cells or our skin. Neutralizing antibody travel to basal epithelial cells, intercept, bind and neutralizing invading virus and also mark these viruses so our macrophages which are basically vacuum cleaner in our immune system, eat and digest the human papillomavirus right on the spot. Some of this neutralizing antibody get secreted in body fluid so it reach HPV on surface, preventing the infection. Quadrivalent HPV vaccine will be given in three dosages, zero, two months, and six months. Amount of antibody decline by 24 months, but afterward, it remains steady. In follow-up study, Gardasil vaccine has demonstrated memory to at least five years. It's interesting to know after immunization with HPV vaccine, immune memory established by memory B cells. So if you get encounter with HPV in the future, a strong immune response cause high volume of antibody production against new infection after vaccination. You can get more information regarding the vaccine from CDC, or your medical doctor.